you to go out to the room. Yeah, I'll go later when I'm done with you. Really? Yes. Done with me like again? Again? <laughs> <laughs> Not again. We well, should be glad that you're happy. This is Jeff. Please. Please. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Get some. Get some. Babe, are you okay? I'm asking you, are you okay, babe? I'm fine. Baby, how did you say get you this? The palace guard brought it here. What is it for? Said so this more invitation from the king. A luncheon. A luncheon? Yeah. I don't understand. So there is a lunch on. What's lunch on? Lunch on is a ceremonial meal served during the day. But what business do you have with the king to invite you for a lunch on in the palace? How did he know we exist? I don't know, my love. I'm as confused as you are. I mean, we, we are strangers here. I don't like the way I feel about this. Babes, seriously, none of this makes sense to me. How come, after more than three years, your father disowned you? All of a sudden, he wants you to come to the palace. It's still not clear to me. Perhaps he realized that I'm his only hope to take over his throne when he's gone. How do you mean his only hope? What about your sister Amanda? She's only a woman bearing another man's name and building his family. Really? In as much as I would love to agree with you on that, but that's been unfair to me, women. I'm not in the mood to go down that lane with you, Sylvia. Besides, my father knows that a woman can be a king. He knows I'm his only hope to take over the throne. So, are you going? Why not? This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. Opportunity you've been waiting for how? Opportunity to do what? To look my father in the face and watch him dance to his music. Jeff. Jeff. I hope you're not planning anything. 
You will soon find out. Dusty. You people are not doing it properly. It's still dusty. Sorry. Before I come back, everything should be shining. You look nervous. Is this about Jeff? Do you think I'm doing the right thing? Why am I just saying? He is your son. Your only son. The heir to the throne of this kingdom. You cannot be angry with him for so long. You are saying this because you are his mother. And you are his father. I'm sure you feel the same, irrespective of whatever he has done. I just want my family to be united again. And for that, I'm so proud of you. That's what I like to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's go. I can see you are really taking good care of my daughter and my grandchild. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. It's my responsibility to take good care of them. <laughs> Daddy, you promised to buy for me a bicycle. Yes, I did. And I promised to give it to you before you leave. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, no, stop troubling my own father. Stop troubling my father. <laughs> the same way you troubled us when you were his age. Yes. Mom, I did, but I was troubling my parents, not his. Oh yeah, look at your dad, tell him to buy you a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Oh, 
I'm going to do that. All right, Paul. I do. Now, what's up? Yes. Big C is I do. Yes. Ah, in law. I put out the window. Nice meeting you again. Yeah. Yes, you're welcome. Thanks, Mom. Here is she. Oh, this is my baby, Sylvia. Hmm. <laughs> Your Hi. daughter in law to be. Hello, Mom. Hello, sir. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go inside. Not yet. Not so fast. There's someone else I'm expecting. Who is that? Someone that is not a member of this family. This is Admiral. Your Majesty, you know my name? Of course I do. How else would I have been like you? I thought this is supposed to be his family meeting. So who is he? Who the hell is that? What the hell is in this? You are seated in my presence, young man. Watch your language. He's not supposed to be here. If anyone isn't supposed to be here, it's you.
Jeffrey, do not take the words of your father to heart. You ought to have known him by now. Mom, I thought this is supposed to be a reunion. Yes, it is. So what are those strangers doing here? Or don't I have right to know? Of course you do. And so do I. The same question you're asking I asked. Uh, but, um, Jeffrey, you were rude to your father. You should learn how to speak in the presence of the king. By the way, who is that girl dressed like a harlot? Mom, that's my girlfriend. And I don't appreciate you speaking about her in that manner. Your girlfriend? Yes. You seem not to know who you are. Who am I, mom? Reality. Reality? And yet, you people treat me like a trash. Listen, son. No one is treating you like trash. Whatever must have happened was caused by your waywardness and ill behavior. Really? Yes. Listen. Your father now wants to make it up to you. Please don't spoil it. Mom, I was disowned by my own father. That is what he is trying to make right. Don't spoil it, son. Are you sure the doctor is going outside? Mm -hmm. She should be safe. Obviously, playing with the other kids. I didn't see other kids. Why are you so one boy? I'm sure she's comfortable. She's fine. We're, we're in the palace. And by the way, what are we even doing here? To be honest, I really don't know. But we'll find out soon. Your Majesty, are you sure this is the right time for this? There is no right time to do this. I have to do what I have to do. To be honest, I don't think any of them are in the right frame of mind for this revelation. Still, it has to be done. When I die, the reign of this kingdom will be left in the hands of a tyrant. I will not let that happen. You have been my chief of staff as long as I can remember. Surely no one understands why it has to be done. More than you and I. Your mission is in command, Your Majesty. Who are you? My name is Azubike Okonji. I already know your name. What is your relationship with my husband? I don't have any relationship with the king. Lies. I lie not your majesty. Something is definitely going on, and I intend to find out. God help you, Ed. Excuse me.
That woman, could you please excuse your husband and I for some privacy? All right, Your Majesty. I invited you here today, though we have never met. I will tell you why. Sit down. Sit down. We planned the reunion together, yet you went behind me and invited strangers. I will explain everything. Who are they? And why did you invite them? Just allow me to explain. I'm listening. Azubike is Agnes's son. Agnes? The maid? Yes, the very one you know. No. No, that's not possible. I'm sorry, my queen. I'm so sorry. Please have mercy on me. It's the devil's work. I'm sorry, my queen. I'm sorry. Please. Carry everything that belongs to you and run as far as your legs can carry. I don't want to ever set my eyes on you again. The day I do shall be your last breath on earth. I'm sorry, my queen. I'm sorry. Get out! Please, it's the devil's work. Show me mercy. I don't have anywhere to go, please. I'm so sorry, my queen. I'm sorry. My queen, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> no! It's not possible. How did you know? I've had a watch over him since he was a child with the help of my chief of staff. Does he know? Not yet. But I intend to let him know today. I see. That has been your plan all this while. No, it's his right. Is he legitimate? But he's still my blood. Lies! Woman, watch your mouth. Bypass my son. And you'll see what an aggrieved mother will do for her son. Um, please, the king will join you also. Exercise little patience.
You see that guy? What about him? I want you to distract him. I want you to make a way to be questioned. How are you going to Thank you. 